Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new episode on Excel Tips and Tricks session. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do the sum by month in Excel. Sum by month means, obtain the total value of numbers between two dates. To do this, we can use a formula based on the SUMIFS function, with help from the EOMONTH function. Before start the lesson, let's try to understand each function, which we are going to use in this tutorial. You may check on my previous tutorial to understand the SUMIF function from the suggested video. Let's see how the EOMONTH function works with a simple example. EOMONTH function is used to find the last day of a month, the function returns the date of the last day of the month, which is offset months from start date. The table has given a date with the offset month column. Let's try to find the last date of the given month by using the EO month function. The syntax is simple, equal, EO month, open bracket. Then select the start date and offset months from the start date. Here I will have used zero value, which I need the last date of the current month. Then close the bracket. Here, you can see the last date of the month returns for the same month from the start date. Copy the function for the below dates. Now you can see the end of month column returned the last date of the same month. Let's change the desired offset value from the start date. The function will return the last date of the offset month from the start date. For example, here I have set the offset value for 5, which means, I need the last date of the month after 5 months from January month, which is June 30th, and so on. The offset value can be positive or negative. A negative value will return the last date of the backdated month and positive for forwarding months. Let's move now to our sum by month lesson. The given table is my daily production records, which are updated from the two shifts production. However we cannot present our monthly report in this way, so it is better to use some infographic chart to present the monthly reports, hence we need to summarize the monthly data. For this, we can use the monthly summing technique in Excel. In the production data sheet, the production data is updated daily until May 2019, with the total production quantity and other relevant production data. However, I need the monthly total production for each month. To get the monthly summary, I have created a new Excel sheet with two columns, which are the month and the respective total production columns. First. Let's fix the month column, and this will be our start date of the month for this function. Select the start date and change the custom format to just see only the month. This can be done by changing the custom date format. From the format cells window appear, click the custom category and type MMM in the type text box. and copy them until the month of December, hence the total production values will be automatically updated for one year. Before we create the formula, I will assign a reference name to the production date and the production quantity columns. A named range is one or more cells, which have been given a name. Using named ranges can make the formula easy to read and understand. To do this, go to Formula tab and select Name Manager option, with Name Manager window appear, click the New button, enter the name that you wish to name it, here I am calling Production Date, hence it will be easy to understand while I am using this references in the formula. Then select Cell Ranges, make sure that you have select entire data range cells from the datasheet, here, I have select the range between B2 to B500 which is enough for me to select all my data. I will let the scoped default to the workbook so that I can use this reference name anywhere in the current workbook.
Again click the new button to assign a reference name for the produced quantity column as well. Now we are ready to use the formula to calculate the total monthly production. As said, the SUMIFS function can sum values in ranges based on multiple criteria. As said, the SUMIFS function can sum values in ranges based on multiple criteria. In this case, we configure SUMIFS to get the total production by month, using two criteria. First to match dates greater than or equal to the first day of the month, and to match dates less than or equal to the last day of the month. Here you can see we are able to choose the sum range easily from the assigned name references, which is production quantity. Next select the first criteria, which is the production start date. The second criteria will be the last day of the same month, noted. Here we have to use the EO month function to get the last date of the month, with the offset value to zero. The concatenation with an ampersand is necessary when building criteria that use a logical operator with a numeric value. Also, the logical operator should be within the double quotation mark. Now you can see the total production for the month of January is 505,491 pieces. I will copy the same formula for the following months as well. Let's try to do the manual validation whether the total production quantity for the month of January is the same amount or not. You can see it is the same amount. Let's add a few production values for the month of June. As you can see the total production quantity for the month of June is 50,000. To view the monthly total production trends, let's add a chart here. Go to insert and click the recommended chart option from the charts tab. There are few options are available, you can use choose your own chart. But the stack chart is looking good to me. This chart will be automatically updated upon updating your daily production records. To do the sum by month, we can use other methods as well, such as sum product and pivot chart methods and so on. However, the benefit of this method is that we can adjust the start date for summing the values. If your dates have different years then it is best to use pivot tables and sum product function. And we have done for today. Hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you next week. Please like and leave a comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.